Hello and welcome to this introductory video on Mendeley. This clip will cover the basics of what Mendeley is, how it can help you to improve your research and writing processes, and how you can actually get started with using Mendeley. So what is Mendeley? A brief introduction is that it was actually founded in 2008 and it's now owned by Elsevier, who are well-known publishers of journals, books, ebooks, and electronic products such as Science Direct, MD Consult, Scopus, and many other online resources. Essentially, Mendeley is a free reference manager and application software that allows you to insert citations directly into an MS Word document as you are typing, and then subsequently to derive a related bibliography with the click of a button. It is also an academic collaboration tool or a social networking platform for researchers with more than 3 million researchers associated to the Mendeley database, allowing you to connect with others in your field and to discover or search um, uh, for new research and to share your research, your data and your publications with others. It also serves as a document repository and a PDF reader that allows you to organize and manage electronic literature to annotate and make notes, color-coded notes on these documents, and then to share these notes with colleagues. It is an active research community with a wide database, allowing you to discover new research online, and it has a built-in tool that suggests new research for you based on the types of documents that you search for and the types of documents um, saved in your personal library. Developers may be interested to know that Mendeley is a crowdsourced and open source database with an open application programming interface, which is nice for developers who may want to build add-ons and plugins to work with Mendeley. There are a number of um, reference manage manager products on the market at the moment, each with different features. I've been using Mendeley for a long time, and I'm sure that you can find a lot of information on the internet to help you decide which product suits your needs best. Particularly, I like the fact that Mendeley is free and it has a large amount of space to back up my documents. This series of videos, however, only covers Mendeley. So what will you need to get started with using Mendeley? You will need an electronic device, um, a laptop, a computer, a tablet, or a smartphone. You will need an internet connection, and you will need um, electronic documents. If you have hard copy documents or paper-based documents, you will need to scan those in in order to digitize them. Mendeley is a cross-platform application, which means that you can install Mendeley on a variety of different platforms. You can install the desktop version on your computer or your laptop, and the application will work with any of the major operating systems, such as Windows, Apple, or Linux. You can also access Mendeley Web through any of the major internet browsers. You can further even install a mobile application on your cell phone, or tablet. The desktop application offers the most complete experience by allowing you to build, maintain, and organize your personal library and to use the citation plugin to cite directly from Mendeley into a Microsoft Word or LibreOffice document that you will be typing in. The web and mobile versions, on the other hand, are designed to allow you the mobility and the flexibility of accessing your library and your notes on the go. The documents that you add to your library are stored in the cloud or the internet, so that you can access and retrieve them whenever and wherever you need them. For example, you may have read an article on your home computer, and when you arrive at work, you realize that you forgot the article at home. This could deter your research process if you plan to do research at that particular point in time. With Mendeley, all you need to do is either use the Mendeley web version to log into your library, or you could download the Mendeley desktop version 
again onto your Office PC as well. The synchronization capability ensures that all changes made on one version of your account is integrated with the other instances of your account. Mendeley allows you to retrieve the same resources with the same changes and annotations wherever you need them. There are a number of resources available on the internet and on the Mendeley website as well you will find lots of tutorial videos and material to help you with using Mendeley. The plan for this presentation however is to firstly um, show you how to set up your Mendeley environment by following a number of key steps such as creating an account, installing the required plugins, using the correct settings, etc. In my view, it's easier to set up your Mendeley application first and get that out of the way before moving on to understanding how to use Mendeley effectively. The sections of this roadmap will be covered in separate videos. In the next video, I will explain how to set up your environment. Thereafter, we will look at how to manage your library, use the awesome functionality provided, and then to connect with others and stay informed via Mendeley Web. So let's get started, and I will see you in part two of this video series.